Hey boys and girls, welcome to the back end of the Maki. Um, today we're going to be talking a little bit about what we saw when we came to the rear of the car. Again, um, same comment as last time, this just doesn't look like a Ford. I'm telling you, I'm really we're all very impressed here at Monroe, not just me. There's a lot of other guys here that have been looking at this. We're all kind of surprised and happy to see what Ford came up with. Let's start off with something that I had a problem with, with the, uh, with the um, uh, VW ID4. Have a look at these, um, these control arms. You can see that they're all pretty much dead straight and they're simple. Simple means that all this is, is a U-bend. So if we have a look under here, you can see that there's nothing extraordinary about this. It's just a U-bend. With Tesla, they had a pipe that was welded or they had brackets that were welded into a box. But this, this is all very, very, very simple. So I'm really impressed with that. I'm very happy. Um, from a suspension standpoint, if I gave Tesla an A, this would get an A+. Plus. And the reason for that is because these are so simple and so inexpensive. And they're doing the job. So let's move over here a little bit. And let's talk about what I liked in the other one. Right above us, right here, right in here, this is another one of these hollow cast, um, hollow cast cradles. I am so impressed. I cannot, I can't believe that, uh, that, that we're, we're looking at something like this coming out of Ford. This is something I'd expect to see maybe with BMW. BMW is very good at castings and stuff. Okay, so let's, uh, let's look at the one thing that kind of did surprise me. So let's, we gotta look way up here, okay? And there's a big black chunk of iron there. We're, we're calling that the T-Rex cross car beam. I, I have no idea what, what caused them to do that. We think it's because of parallelogramming, but all it is, is if we look way, way over here, um, actually, let me get out of the way so you can see. You can see that that W beam is, um, is uh, only attached to one thing, the, this casting right here. So that tells me that um, this has to be something that they knew was gonna happen. They put it on there and they put it on for a reason. And the reason was they wanted that stability. They didn't want this thing breathing. So that's a good deal. If we come under here again uh, and look up, we're looking at the, these are the half shafts that drive the rear wheels. Okay, and again, just like in the front, we've got a, a, coaxial, um, a coaxial kind of, uh, kind of design. This is quite good, we're, we're very excited. The one thing that we didn't understand was why is, why is this thing, the, the, uh, why is the, uh, the, the, the lower area of the electric motor so big? And, and quite frankly, I th we think it's because this is also a reservoir. Now, we can't take it apart so we can't see a lot of what's going on here, but the drain plug is obvious and the size is, uh, is big enough that there's, um, uh, th there's no reason why this wouldn't be something that, uh, that could hold quite a bit of oil. So here's a plate cooler up here. Alrighty. So that plate cooler tells us that something's going on in here and that's why we think it's a reservoir, but we don't see the pumps that would go along with it. So, this is all good stuff. Um, <clears throat> so let's, let's move over to uh, what we saw here. Now, in a lot of cases, people want to drop the battery, but in, in doing that, sometimes what you have to do is drop the cradle and the whole rear suspension and on and on. But with this one, I can disconnect, and then I can take the four bolts here, the four bolts there, and the stuff in the front, drop the battery without having to take the whole car to pieces. So this is another good idea. You'll notice too how short the uh, leads are between um, where it's coming from the battery pack to where it's going to the electric motor. Uh, more good news. This is, uh, there's a lot of good news on this car. So let's go over here and uh, look at something that uh, you probably don't normally look at, but we do. This is where your shock absorber mounts into the car. And you can see that um, there's a heavy casting there. And what happens is when the suspension is being pushed up inside, it locates in that pocket. Okay, so I wanna draw your attention to the one thing that 
the, the Maki guys screwed up on. This, this is the tub, okay? And I like to be able to store things in my car and I see a giant amount of room here. Even if I went to the top of the fascia, I would be getting about another six or eight inches of, uh, of storage space. And I think, I, I know, I would have been much happier if this could have been um, extended. Now, somebody in design is gonna say, oh, we couldn't do it because See, we all, we, we couldn't get a, the enough, enough uh, metal stretch out of here. That's fine. Remember what I said to Tesla? Cut that out and just drop in a, a piece of plastic and glue it in. And what did Tesla do? Well, they cut it out and put in a piece of, a piece of uh, plastic tub. Anyway, I think that that's the only thing I can find so far that I didn't like. That's, ah. I just like a lot of storage. Uh, that's a little bit about uh, the rear end of the vehicle. Uh, we haven't even scratched the surface on this car yet. And like I said, I'm kind of impressed. I'm, I wasn't, in fact, I didn't even want to do the mach -E. I figured it was gonna waste our time. But there's one little tidbit of information that's come up that says, maybe you should. And that little tidbit of information is that Tesla owned the market share by about 80%. Uh, last year at this time. They're down to 70% and that extra 10% or that 10% differential has mostly been eaten up by this. And I thought, ah, that's just four dyed in the wool kind of guys and uh, that's that. But at the end of the day, uh, <laughs> that's not the case. This is a pretty good looking vehicle. And I will talk to you some more about this, uh, this vehicle. And hopefully every time I open my uh, mouth, it's going to be good things to say about, uh, about the Mach-E. Bye-bye.